Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch on a beautiful late May 2024 day and tonight we're stopping late and doing some quick walk around videos that we just never seem to get a chance to do anymore because it's so incessantly busy um, but this one is an absolutely spectacular bit of kit I love this van it is a Cartago Chic Sea Lion T 5.0 QB the Germans do love a catchy name for their motorhomes but what they lack in naming skills they really gain in build quality so Cartago are a German maker of high-end luxury coach-built motorhomes and A-classes or fully and semi-integrated vans if you want to put it that way. Now this is a 2019 model Chic, that's their uh, sort of full fat top of the range uh, low profile one T uh, are the low profile ones I are the A class so you can buy this as a fully integrated van or as a semi integrated van like this one and it's a big high quality heavyweight luxury hewn from granite German touring weapon and it's a very very cool thing so it's got an iron bed it's a four berth three stroke four berth four seat belt four and a quarter ton on the alco chassis so that means from the cab back it's done by alco in germany so you've got fully independent torsion bar rear suspension instead of leaf springs uh you've got a lighter fully galvanized yet heavier weight capable chassis as well for massive payload it's the 2.3 turbo diesel with a six-speed automatic gearbox it's the large 150 horsepower engine it's only done 10,000 miles from new so we took it in part exchange from a local gentleman against a caravan it's been sold new by go european up in gailey by the look of the registration they part exchanged it at the local Cartago dealer who then sold it to the gentleman who sold it to us now we've internet price checked it and it's the best price um, one of its ilk in the country. So it's 7.4 metres, it's actually it's not monstrously big, 2.27, it's actually narrower than, the, than most, most fans are 2.35, it doesn't feel narrow or look it, but it is. 2.89 tall, low profile, price is 84.95, which is a lot of money, but a new Cartago is an awful lot of money. So they put their own front end on, which gives it that sort of modern, aggressive look. We've got the big panoramic front skylight, um, mixture of colours from this sort of off sandy, sort of silvery, strawy metallic colour. You've got LED daytime running lights still on this cab, uh, 16 inch Fiat alloys looking very, very smart. Uh, looking around the outside now. One of the big things with Katargos, I must admit, I've sold Heimers, I've sold Neesmans, I've sold most things new, but I've never sold new um, Katargos. Um, so I didn't fully appreciate them, but I've sold plenty of used ones and the bill quality they're made from metal so you've got metal sandwich construction metal exterior metal interior sandwich of insulation you're not going to get a damp one every everything feels absolutely rock solid so you've got flush fit double glazed windows as you'd expect you've got the beautiful curved body show you've got grp front metal sides it's double floor, so full length double floor. So all of your water tanks and your pipe work and things are within the floor for insulational purposes. We've got big storage under that floor as well, which I wish I kept open because it's hard to open with one hand. Oh no, I'm going to have to shake the camera here. I do apologise for that. So we'll see this better from the other side, but there we go. So you've got storage right the way through, including lighting to the other side. Look how clean this is. That's a very clean van. So yeah, massive, massive storage there. Gas locker for two 11 kilo gas bottles. Now this gentleman changed for a caravan, so as a bonus he's left his uh, oh, refillable gas bottles in. So you've got twin 11 kilo. Uh, refillables which you fill up at a petrol station fantastic for going abroad there is a because the only problem with metal is of course you can get a dink on it you see that where is it there's there that's the tiniest little dink not break the paint or anything but it is there it's not to point out any things that's going around fresh water fill up points you've got fresh water tanks within the floors second garage door we'll have a proper look at the garage from the other side 
back corner check all is well there see if I can still squeeze through the gap yeah not that not that heavy yet so we've got a high level reversing camera on the back corner check is fine so we've got camera not got sensors but we've got camera back there so main garage door and you need two hands for all of these apologies if I'm making you seasick so massive garage here's an island bed uh, now problem with island beds is sometimes it chops the top off the garage but of course this is an Alco chassis so floor level is there so you can still have a lowish island bed but they can they drop the floor there to give you more garage space you'll get bikes in there without having to wind your um, uh, wind your, uh, your bed up and down basically so you've got the full carpets for the van there you've got awning winder handle elasticated tie down straps the electronical side of things it's all in there with your trip switches and your charger and your fuses and stuff and that's heated we've got movable tie down points there these didn't come with a spare wheel so it's got the spare wheel in a box there sort of inflation kit or first aid emergency kit there winter covers for the fridge vent holder fridge vent holder winter covers for the fridge vents no holders involved Mains hook up there, so you've got mains hook up, double leisure battery and a large solar panel on the roof. Got some slight bush marks, very, very slight, you can't really see on the window there. So you're going to get on any motor home. Full length, nearly full length, 2 litre Omnistore awning. Minimal graphics, look quite smart, I think. Is this the toilet cassette dump point? Yep, toilet cassette dump point. Battery locker underneath of here with your two leisure batteries within it. Barbecue point, I presume. Yeah, barbecue point. Flue for your Truma, gas or mains electric heating, and another underfloor storage locker with lights, of course, through there. All of these are heated, designed for long term proper sub zero camping. Little stone chip just on the graphic there, and all absolutely fine. That's bird muck, bloody seagulls. So, cab spec wise, we've got full concertina cab lines as you'd expect. We've got genuine fake wood from the Catargo fake wood forest, Catargo embossed techno silver air yeah, bits there, added USB. In the centre, we've got cab climate control, so it's not just manual air conditioning it's uh, set your temperature it will maintain it or it will try to and a pioneer double din sat nav system with your reversing camera monitor built into it cd player now obviously this is a 2019 van so i'm sure there'll be a way of updating the maps on that in fact i think i can see a little sd card there so you may need to update that or if you want to change to an apple carplay android autoplay system the surrounds already there but that's bluetooth for your phone calls of course you'll be able to stream to it everything like that as well so that's all very, very good and only 10,000 miles, which is excellent. So coming in the habitation door. So we've got central locking on the habitation door, which you don't get with a Heimer, believe it or not. Awning light. And you step into a full length flat floor. That's not easy to say after a couple of beers. With storage within. I lift that up there. So you can see that's access to underneath. You've got your boiler drain and your water dump points there as well. Really easy to access. Listen to the clunk on that. Everything is just solid quality. Plug there, mirror there, disco lights there, ready for going out for your hair dryer, hair straighteners, whatever, for the ladies or the gentlemen. And big hecky roof light above the lounge comfortable now what i love about this is it's not got leather seats it's got this sort of uh velour sort of alcantara -y, um stain protected edging cloth infills soft squishy comfortable not something you see in all german vans what you also get in german vans especially german luxury vans is acres of wood effect wood so not to everybody's taste you can if it's not for you see how that bit's been that color there's companies out there who will make those lights aren't flickering by the way it's just the camera um, who will do the same to uh, uh to these ones so i love the fact as well this is kind of old-fashioned but i like it these are 
it's got a traditional kind of quality feel to it but it could be one year old it could be 15 years old but absolute quality uh, so we've got cupboards over the cab instead of a par panoramic skylight which will leak and whistle and ruin your life uh, whereas this has got storage cupboards really good it does have a, a curtain rail <laughs> i don't know why so if you want to put a curtain on there to blank out the cab you can but of course you've got all your concertina cab blinds we've got a gooty motorhome seats these are specific motorhome seats fully height adjustable really really mega comfy yeah lovely lovely things so we've got a tv remote control for a tv that i don't know where it is ah that's why so that will be in here so this will i'm not going to try and do it one-handed but ah there she is yeah look at that that's cool so this is an alphatronics tv i will use them as well it must be a german brand um so tv there sound comes via the head unit and comes out of your cab speakers very very cool and your rear speakers or maybe just your rear speakers but it's through the head unit i believe uh, acres and acres of drawers and storage and everything's just really really solid and they're lovely things it's in super condition i couldn't fault it original Cartago glasses still in the cocktail cabinet very smart original Cartago egg timer everybody needs that Corian effect. It's a solid worktop anyway. Look at how thick that is. Turn it upside down for the chopping board. Now look at that chopping board. That's not a chopping board that's seen a lot of chopping in its life, is it? I like this as well. So you've got the pull-out um, thingy there. Pull-out hose tap. So you could just about get that out the window and hose off a person or, or a dog. Just about. The sink cover will slip in up there for extra workspace which is very very smart bins loads of storage drawers with dividers endless light switches soft lighting you've got because it's a metal van so they've all fabric sort of coated everything uh, two-way fan up there above the kitchen sucking cool air or suck out warm air or smelly air Really nice use of lighting. Tech Tower Combi Oven and Grill. Not everybody's favourite bit of kit, but it's there. Of course, the Germans don't tend to go in for ovens, but that is an oven and a grill combined. Not seen a lot of use. There's some scorch marks on the back, so it has been used, but not a lot by the look of it. Then your big fridge freezer. That's in really good condition as well. Three-way fridge freezer. that would be an auto energy selecting one, I'm sure. So gas when you're not hooked up, mains when you are hooked up, 12 volt off your alternator when you're driving. I always pull these the wrong way. That's it. Got all of that for your extra wine storage. So that's the lounge and the kitchen. Walking through to the bedroom, we've got a massive QB, a queen bed. So you can see there. So big side windows, skylight. Other side windows, hers and hers wardrobes, alcoves back there with a plug socket, yeah, USB sockets back there, reading lights, really, really nice. It is on the taller side, but you've got steps to get up and get into bed from either side. Massive storage drawers for all your clothes underneath as well. This is really good, massive there. Lots and lots of storage, more storage in the floors. Fully separate shower at the foot of the bed with a skylight for ventilation, screen that will come across to segregate your bathroom area. So you can close this door here somehow. Uh, that one, that's how you do it. Then you've got your washroom with your toilet and your Hollywood mirror. Uh, you turn the lights on. Ooh, don't know where the light switch is. Ah, there it is with your Hollywood mirror. Hello. Shouldn't be wearing an Adria top in a Catargo really, but I haven't got a Catargo top. Really, really nice, super condition again. Uh, how do I get this back? So, yeah, that's about it really. It's a fantastic thing. There is a second TV point there with a TV bracket over here. Yeah, couldn't fault it. It is a belter. So, Catargo, chic. 5.0 QB, queen bed, island bed. 
I'd call this so that will drop and make a bed so it's more of a three berth but you get a sort of four of two with kids in or if you fill that bit in so give us a call anyway if you're interested on 07432 662558 try the landline first 01626832792 check us out at highbridgecaravans.co.uk or come and see us we're just on the main road between Exeter and Plymouth the A38 South Devon Express area runs right next to our forecourt you cannot miss us and look out for this lovely Katago which has got sat nav the auto gearbox the all metal construction awning TV aerial um other stuff <laughs> it's late in the day solar panel yeah it's got everything it's a beautiful van it's 84.95 thank you very much goodbye